Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Welcome, Ms. McFerrin. We're, we're, uh, uh, I'm glad the President withdrew <coughs> his controversial nomination, and I hope the, his gesture of respect to the Senate is a new beginning. Uh, Ms. Block, who, about whom Senator Harkin talked, and her fellow appointee, Richard Griffin, were appointed unconstitutionally in January 2012. And they chose to stay in their office and decide hundreds of cases after courts ruled their appointments weren't legitimate. This created a great deal of confusion for the workers and employers who count on the board to fairly and properly adjudicate their disputes. The 436 decisions between January 2012 and July 2013 were made invalid by the United States Supreme Court's unanimous ruling last summer that they were unconstitutionally appointed. Today, there's still 62 of those decisions still pending at the board. As Senator Harkin said, uh, Ms. McFerrin serves as chairman of, uh, uh, serves as the chief labor counsel and deputy staff director for this committee. Chairman Harkin and I have some ideological differences, but no Senate committee has produced more legislation than ours have because we work together to get a result. It's no secret that one of my biggest concerns uh, about the National Labor Relations Board has been growing partisanship at the NLRB. And Mr. Chairman, rather than make an extensive statement, I'd ask uh, consent to put uh, my complete remarks in the record. I have a, f just, but just to summarize my, my thought, as I look at Ms. McFerrin, my hope will be that she will strive to be an impartial decision-making maker, which is what board members are called upon on to be. The NLRB was, as the chairman said, said, created more than 75 years ago to be an impartial umpire in labor disputes that threaten the free flow of commerce and decisions affecting millions of private sector workers. Of course, too often it tilts toward the political leanings of the president who appointed the members. That's true with Democratic appointees. It's true with Republican appointees. But the trend has grown more pronounced recently. Uh, I would like to see more stability in the NLRB. And for that reason, uh, Senator McConnell and I have introduced legislation that would turn the board from an advocate for one side uh, to an umpire, as it ought to be. It would help deal with the problem of partisan advocacy. It would deal with the problem of a freewheeling general counsel. It would deal with the problem of a board that's been too slow to resolve disputes. Last year, 109 cases, that's 30% of the board's caseload, were pending for more than a year. The way it would do that is to have a six-member board, three Republicans, three Democrats. Four would make a decision. It would rein in the general counsel by allowing businesses and unions to challenge complaints filed in the gen by the general counsel in federal court. It would encourage timely decisions by saying that either party to a case may appeal to a federal court of appeals if the board fails to act within a year. Our bill would offer these solutions without taking away any rights or remedies for any employee, business, or union. It's something I look forward to working on here in the next Congress. That's how important I believe the board is. Ms. McFerrin, I look forward to hearing from you your thoughts on whether the nation's workers and employers deserve stability from this important agency and why you're the best person to provide it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.